I've been wanting a portable table that I can set my laptop on when I'm working in the living room. So I saw this folding tray table at Walmart and decided to get it and turn it into something nice. I actually got this idea from my friend who had one of these tables made for her husband and I decided to make one for myself. I started by taking the table outside and painting the entire table white. This is my current favorite brand of spray paint and I'm just painting the entire table using this color. So for this project I am using resin and this is the brand I'm using and I'm adding these flakes. Please do your research on resin before handling the product. I felt it is important to mention that I am not a professional. You mix equal parts of the bottles until it's completely mixed and then add your glitter or flakes of choice. Once that's mixed, I spread it over the entire surface using a gloved hand. I removed the tape border because it was not necessary at this point because the resin was so thin that it wasn't going to spill over the edge. After spreading the resin, I'm using a heat gun to pop any bubbles on the surface. Do not use a blow dryer. The fan on that will be too powerful. I created a design and cut it with my Cricut machine. I use an X-Acto knife to help remove the scraps. Because it's what I have on hand, I've never found it necessary to buy the tool that Cricut makes for it. After I've removed the scraps, I'm using a clear adhesive shelf liner and applying it to the top so that I can transfer it to the table. Cricut does make transfer tape, but this large roll was only $3 at my local family dollar and includes way more product and it performs the same as regular transfer tape. Next, you're going to peel away the clear transfer and place it where you want it to lay. Then you use a scraper or something like a credit card to burnish it on the surface. Again, Cricut makes scrapers, but whatever you have on hand that works just the same is completely fine to use. Then just peel away the clear part and your vinyl design should be adhered to the table. The transfer looks really sticky right here, but it wasn't overly sticky at all. It was the table that was making it a little harder to remove. Then I'm using masking tape to create a border around the table so that my resin layers don't spill over. I did two layers of resin after applying my vinyl design, allowing each layer to dry for 24 hours before applying the next layer. Make sure you thoroughly mix your resin or it won't cure properly. Remember to use a heat gun after pouring the resin to pop any bubbles that come to the surface. And wear gloves when working with resin because you do not want to get this on your skin. You should always be doing this in an area that is ventilated. I'm in a room that has windows and while the resin is curing, that door is closed and no one goes in that room until the resin is done curing. After the resin is completely done curing, I removed the tape. It was actually pretty easy removing the tape. I thought I was going to have to sand it off, but it came off in one piece. Then I used my X-Acto knife to clean up the edges a little, but you can definitely use sandpaper and that would be a safer option to use. So this is the finished product. It was really easy to do, just took a little time to get it done. Let me know in the comments if you have a table that you'd like to try this on. Be sure to tag me on any pictures that you decide to post on Instagram if you decide to recreate this. Thank you so much for watching and you will see me in the next one. Bye.